Hello again, guys. I would say good morning, but it obviously is not. Just another one of those days where I had a lot of trouble getting up out of bed. And you know, I say it every year, but I think the changing of the seasons affects my mood. I'm not gonna go as far as to say that I have like seasonal affective disorder or anything, because I'm definitely not gonna try to misdiagnose myself. But when the weather does change, when it starts getting cooler, especially when it gets to winter and the, the daylight, when there's next to no daylight, I've noticed that I am affected by it in some way. So that does make it harder for me to try to get up in the morning. So unfortunately, did not end up running this morning. But I am up, I am about, I shaved this morning, but I, I just shaved my neck. I decided to let a little bit of scruff grow in and see how it looks now. It's been, uh, it's probably been two and a half years, two years or so since I've had anything. And it's looking like I might have a little more gray than I had last time. Getting old sucks. In other news, I realized I had not shown you where we actually ended up yesterday. This is the uh, stuff that we have ready for our yard sale. It's not ready, we still have to price everything. Still have to go through that little box. Got all sorts of old toys from Duncan and clothes and everything. We've still got lots and lots of clothes to go through and DVDs to go through, but it looks like we've got a lot of stuff for the yard sale, so hopefully that'll turn out well. But for now, time for a little bit of lunch. Not really even sure what to do. Lately, I found myself eating entirely too many frozen things but there are a few frozen things out there that don't have extremely high sodium and don't have very high calories, so that's kind of a, a good middle of the road solution. So I'll probably do that. Alrighty, it is later in the day. I'm actually about to go get Duncan off the school bus because it's that time of the day. Uh, package showed up this morning. This is a, uh, it's actually a Bluetooth connected beanie. So I should be set to go for, for winter and for the, the cooler months and everything now. Gonna sound bad here, but that's another sponsored video that's coming up on the main channel. For whatever reason, all of a sudden, a lot of these sponsored videos that I've applied for have started coming through. I can't really complain about that, and as long as I do continue to offer true, honest opinions on the products, I don't know if it's gonna be that big of a problem, but I've had probably five or six that have been accepted suddenly, when I've done a total of five or six ever before this. And the majority of them are supposed to happen in the next couple of weeks. So in between those videos, I've got to try to crank out as many other videos as possible because I don't want to be just posting sponsored videos. I want to be doing all kinds of videos. And I still have to make the video about that uh, racing quadcopter. I've got to, yeah, I've got to get out and fly it. So much to do in so little time. But I will say, I'm very much looking forward to trying this thing out. I'm going to be heading to London here in about two weeks now, actually exactly two weeks from today, I'm gonna to be going to London. And I have a feeling it's gonna be kinda of cold when I get there, you know, it's gonna be the Halloween weekend, and as a result, it will probably be decently cold, so this might be a good fit. Uh, this, because I didn't really say what it was earlier, this is a Bluetooth beanie. It's a little sock cap that you wear, but instead of just being a regular old sock cap that you wear in the cold weather, it's got earphones built into it. So you pair it up to your phone, you don't have to actually wear earphones that go into your ears. Seemed like a pretty cool product. But for right now, I've got to go get Duncan off the bus. Hello. Welcome home. Have a good day. Okay. It's very, very windy out here today. But time for more soccer and sandwiches. Wow, that sunset. That is awesome. Not even sure you all are seeing all the colors, but it is just ridiculous here. Alrighty, well we are back home. Uh, Duncan is going to bed right now. Christina is actually up there reading a, a bedtime story with him. I think Duncan's reading the story. Definitely a big fan of when that happens. I'm here going through comments and actually preparing some stuff. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get the video done for the Build It Yourself uh, 250 racer quadcopter thing. Hopefully I'll have that done tonight to go up tomorrow. Also got tons more videos. I'm trying to get myself back on the motivated train and back to actually working on videos regularly. I haven't put out a video on my channel since the big Android giveaway video, and before that, I, I just wasn't putting them out as often as I'd like. I'd like to be doing at least three to four videos a week on that channel, preferably three videos, just to keep it kind of, kind of light and kind of separated out, give each video time to grow. Uh, looking through the comments from yesterday's vlog, though, 
One of the things I see, and I already replied to this one, but I'm going to reply to it here too. Lee Bennett says that it sucks that your viewers are always going to miss out on these giveaways. And to some point he is actually right with that. If I were to do a giveaway like uh, putting a Steam code or something up on my Tool.TV channel, there are enough people watching at this point that it would probably go very, very quickly. And looking at the three codes that I posted for T-Blocks, it seems like those went very quickly as well this morning. However, I did get contacted by two of the three people that got them and they mentioned that they got them and they're subscribers and they've been following the channel for a while. So congrats to those people that did get them. What I might have to do, specifically since this channel is more of a small community oriented thing, is that if I have giveaways like that to do in the future, if someone gives me extra codes or extra something digital that I can very easily give away, I may take a look through, let's see if I can find it real quick, when you look at your YouTube channel, your YouTube settings, you can see a list of what they call fans, your most engaged, most influential viewers updated daily. And so from that, I could pick out the, the people that I'm seeing in the comments most often, the people that are liking the videos most often, that are posting comments, that are watching the videos, actively interacting back and forth. Because at the top of that list, those are the people that I see and interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So it might not hurt next time I do have something like that to give away to reach out to those people first. Gives a little more incentive for the back and forth, right? Anyway, now that Duncan is in bed, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the video because I've got to get back in that mode. Well, that was a good little bit of work accomplished. I uh, spent some time, okay, Duncan went to bed. Christina eventually went to bed. Uh, actually, let me stop for just a second here. As I mentioned, we are coming up on the time. We're getting ready to do our yard sale that we planned. Uh, and as such, it's time to start going through things, finding things we don't need or don't want. And as I mentioned, I think in yesterday's video, we have two DVD cabinets here in our living room. One over here, one over there. Now, I did a quick flash there. You may have noticed, yeah, this one is now sitting out in the middle of the floor. It's empty. So, between these two cabinets, we went together and decided, we actually took every single one out tonight and decided which ones we wanted to keep and which ones we wanted to sell off. And out of that, there were probably, let's say close to 200 that we, we just said, look, we're probably never gonna watch this movie ever again, or this movie is available online streaming. And then the other ones were like, these are movies from the 80s that they do not have online streaming, or these are movies that are really obscure, or they're, they're rental of only available online. So th things like that that we held on to, things that we want to make sure that we expose Duncan to, and our next son when he gets here, we want to expose him to him as well. Just, you know, cultural staples, things like Wayne's World and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I have excellent taste in movies, leave me alone. But after all of that, I came back in here, I finally got around to filming, sorry, weird lighting, filming the review of the uh, DIY built quadcopter I did. That video was a lot longer than I expected it to be, uh, but I've got it there. I'm, I'm getting ready to import it right now. I'm gonna have to see what I can smash together because I've got a lot of footage, but I don't have all of the footage that I need. So a lot of it's just gonna be me sitting there talking about it. Uh, I've got footage of the keyboard unboxing and I've got footage of the beanie that I showed you guys earlier. That was actually a very fun video and uh, looking forward to finishing that one up. This is the, the beanie. It's got headphones in it. It's got one little, box on this side that controls it all and has an earphone in it and then one little earphone on the other side and it, it I opened it up and I looked at them and the earphones kind of look like you know when you used to have those plastic over ear headphones that would just sit on your ear like that it looks kind of like the element from that but shoved into a beanie and it is like that so that when you want to you can take that out and you can wash the beanie when it gets dirty that's very convenient, I kinda like that. But you know what? It's late, I am so close to getting my step goal, I've gotta go ahead and try to finish this up. So I'm gonna finish this video up, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks to you guys for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.